Hello, never right. So, so what is it we need to do to keep labor rights at their home when we tell them to come up? So what is it? So why is it that United Workers Party believe that they can beat this Red Labor Party train? So why is it that United Workers Party as of tonight don't fire Lennox Linton as leader and get somebody else to see if they can try something. <laughs> Labour Party people. A workers met me tonight and he said, well, Reggie, what are you going to talk about if you're going to talk about housing? And I said, no, because all Labour rights know the government record on housing. So I don't need to talk about housing in a Labour Party meeting. And they said, if you're going to talk about water, and I said no, because all the rights know that we brought water to almost 95% of the country. And they said, you're going to call Petro Curry, but no, because over 300 persons are receiving free cooking gas from Petro Curry under the Dominican Labour Party. And our Petro Curry gas is $30 a bottle for the last three years. The price has not changed. So they say, well, Reggie, I suspect you're going after Linton. And I say, no, but I have to go after the person who wants to remove the Dominican Labour Party and impose themselves on the people for no good reason. And you hear in this thing what plagiarize. That's a big, long word. That's a long word. The short word for plagiarize is thief. So... When they say larceny, larceny is thief. When they say burglary, burglary is thief. When you say prejudice, larceny, prejudice, larceny is thief. When you say plagiarism, plagiarism means thief. And you can add thief and copycat. So you thief the man work because you acknowledge his work and you copycat it. So now, in the Workers' Party, we have Chief Copycat and King Paparat, ladies and gentlemen. The leadership of the United Workers' Party is made up of Chief Copycat and Big Paparat. And we can talk about that a little later. But I want to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, that this plagiarized thing is not something new that dropped from the sky. It is something that has been in Lennox DNA that we've been talking about and nobody wanted to believe us. And I can say to you that Lennox first year as leader of the United Coast Party was characterized by lies, by deception, by fraud, by insensitivity to the elderly and less fortunate in the economy. And right now we're understanding that it is characterized by theft. What else do you expect, ladies and gentlemen, before we ditch Lennox, not Lennox, Linton, in the sea, ladies and gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, Lennox came there parading, saying to the people of Dominica that he was so bright. He had applied for so many jobs here and overseas. And nobody didn't want to employ him. And we found that was strange. Because we say he's something nice on radio and on TV. Only to find out that Lennox Lawrence was not, Lennox Linton was not qualified for any job that he applied for here or over there, ladies and gentlemen. Because by now we know, and thank Tony Astafan and Simeon Albert and Lennox Lawrence, for exposing Linton for what he is. Because it was on the next level show that we found out that Linton was expelled from school in fourth form. And why was he expelled from school? Because he was always a bully, he was always a fighter, and always intimidating little children, especially those that are smaller than him, both boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And he and they don't fire you from school when you commit your first offense. 
or your second offense or your third offense, they expel you when they fed up and tired with you. And so after knocking the young man with the bottle, for what? For what? For some zip. For some zip. Now in those days, Fanta now replaced it. So for some Fanta, or for some Kool-Aid, you're going to kill a man for a little bit of Kool-Aid, brothers and sisters. Something wrong with you. And what is more despicable, the man has since died. And Lennox Lenton is relating what happened. And he's smiling. It's like, what's wrong with, what did I do wrong? I hit a man and he got a bottle because he takes over my zip. What is the problem? I could have killed him for some zip. What is the problem? And even today, Lennox Linton chuckles when he comes to relate the story of what he did with the zip. And we know Lennox Linton publicly. Lennox Linton said to us, I am not a people's person. I don't smile for people. But maybe that is the only good decision Lennox ever made in his life is not to smile. Because I can tell you, if Lennox Linton tried to smile, nobody will recognize him in the city of Roseau or in Marigot. So that is one good decision he made, not to smile. And he says to you, even if I don't greet you, because I don't know you, I don't hate you, but I don't know you. So all you red people here in Lago, if by accident, Lennox becomes the prime minister. He will not greet you because he does not know you, ladies and gentlemen. And that is why we as labor rights have to go out there and ensure that Lennox Linton does not get close to the corridor of power in this country, ladies and gentlemen. And what is his vision for young people? What is his vision for the young men and women of Dominica? He and his team... They go to the United States, in America, where most of our tourists come from, and say to the Americans, do not go to Dominica. Because when we did our tour, the young men and women were asking us for guns to go and shoot Chinese and to shoot Haitians, ladies and gentlemen. But what he never told us, the people who want to kill people was right there in his own party, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm talking about Danny Lugay. Because Danny Luger told you that had he not been a believer, he would take some people out, ladies and gentlemen. The only thing that prevents Danny Luger from killing somebody is because he's a believer, ladies and gentlemen. And they try to tarnish the image of our young... And what did they say about the young women? What did Lennox Linton have to say about the young women of this country? What did he say? that the young women in Dominica are prostitutes, ladies and gentlemen. Your children he's talking about, your nieces, your cousins, that's what he's talking about. And he didn't only say that in Dominica, he said it in Guadeloupe, and he said it in St. Thomas. And he said that Dominica has the highest percentage of prostitution in the entire Caribbean. That is what Lennox Linton have for the young people of this country, ladies and gentlemen. And Ian made the point, and they have a big issue about what was said about Roosevelt Skerritt in the funeral of our brother Bill Daniel. Another attack, as far as I'm concerned, is another attack on the clergy and on the church. And you know who lead in that? Carlisle John Baptist. Carlisle John Baptist have problems with that. And what did he say? All he said is Carrot is one of the wisest. He didn't say he was the wisest. He said one of the wisest leaders Dominic had ever seen. And he was talking the truth because Scarrett is one of the wisest leaders this country has ever seen. And the savage and the one from St. Thomas I can't remember his name, St. Croy. And I'm um, 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 our brother. After threatening to remove his anointing, but that's not all. The bishop take his own. Father Thomas take his own. Anytime anybody who disagrees with the United Coast Party, you victim and you marked for death, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. And that is why some of us here as labor right, 
We one foot in, we one foot out, but I can tell you, whether you are one foot in and one foot out, if Leonard's holding foot at all, he will pull you out, ladies and gentlemen. He will pull you out. Because there is no place to hide from the United Nations Party. They will hunt you down by day. They will hunt you down by night. And so we have to ensure that these men don't get anywhere close, anywhere close to the corridors of power in this country. But I want to go back to this plagiarism thing of Leonard Clinton. We have already established that is dishonesty. And we have established that Lennox Linton has been dishonest from the time we got to know him. He has been dishonest. And he's so dishonest that even becoming leader of the UWP, he maintained his honesty. He couldn't change. He couldn't switch. And I don't believe Shastney helped him and Shastney came down. But Lennox is also a coward. Because as we speak, Lennox was in St. Lucia the morning after the story broke out. And then you hear him say, oh, Shastne is my friend. We just write speeches together. And Shastne called Matt. Matt making you believe it's he that called Shastne. Matt can call nobody. Matt can call, Matt can call nobody. Shastne and Linton call Matt to say, oh, Lennox, my brother, we did some work together and so on. But I've been noticing a trend. Thompson Fountain, who is the second man in command, Prime Minister Lennox Linton, Thompson Fountain second in command. It seemed to, and Thompson Fountain has something hanging over his head about thiefing. Because if a man let you hold his money for him in his account, and you take it out and put it in your account without his permission, you thief it. You thief the money. So Thompson have a little thiefing thing hanging against him. So the leader have a little thiefing thing on him. Thompson have a little thiefing thing on him. Joseph Isaac, I understand, or in social security, deduct money from the worker's salary, don't pay to social security. Is that a little thief in two? That sounds like thief to me. It may not be. Joseph Isaac, well, he not, I don't know what he's thief yet, but I know he likes bread. Well, you see, the last time I stayed, who liked what I had problems with it? And Joseph Isaac, want to be our lead economist to run our economy. The man have a bakery in Portsmouth. By the time 6 o'clock come, all bread finish in Portsmouth. Bread sell. All bread sell. Now, Ian Douglas' grandfather already tell you that anything that can take water, it cannot finish. You cannot cool it because water is for free. And, and he tell me if I say that, he'll sue me. But Joseph Isaac is the only man in Dominica who could have a bakery, ladies and gentlemen. He want to sue me. And when they finish, they throw the bakery outside by the St. John's School in Portsmouth for him. And they'll try to call and tell him to go and get his bakery. So, Lennox is a thief. Thompson is a thief. Isaac will find someone to put him later. So it seemed to me that the whole United Workers Party circus have questionable dealings over the head, ladies and gentlemen. So Lennox is a thief. Thompson is a thief. Monel didn't thief, but he handled call me. That's what I can put it. And you see, and I must say that, and I don't want I don't want Alex Bruno to call me and tell me I go too low under the belt. Because when Lennox Linton called us rapists, he didn't call me and tell me, Reggie, Lennox got too low under the belt. Two little blows I put on Lennox in St. Joseph. Alex called me and tell me I go too low under the belt. I must be careful. Be careful in what? I didn't say anything about Monel Williams. Everybody in St. Joseph know the story. But it's the workers' party people that spread this story and make a big healable of the other thing. Because we knew she didn't steal the meat. We knew that. But she had it in her fridge, brothers and sisters. Ever see Pani Sutiwa, Ipani Vole. And handling stolen goods is just as bad as the person who stole the goods. In fact, 
You take in more jail for handling stolen goods than for who the goods. You understand? And so tonight I want to declare that Lennox Linton have no right in Dominican politics because he's tainted as a thief, ladies and gentlemen. And Thompson Fountain have no right in Dominican politics because he's tainted, ladies and gentlemen. And so, Monel Williams cannot contest the St. Joseph seat because she is tainted with illegal activities, ladies and gentlemen. And so we expect by the time we finish with these guys, we should have new candidates in Marigot, new candidate in St. Joseph, and new candidate for Grand Fong. And even if they don't change us candidates, we will still win the St. Joseph seat, we will win the Grand Fong seat, and we have a good chance of winning the Marigot seat based on what we hear coming out of Marigot. So, Levites, let not your heart be troubled. They have said so many things about Roosevelt Scarlet, and every allegation made against Roosevelt Scarlet has been thrown out by the court or the Integrity Commission or the Director of Public Prosecution. Nothing at all they have, but we have on them. You heard Linton's voice next to Shasta's voice tonight. He cannot defend it, he cannot escape it, and will follow him until Roosevelt Scarlet announces the date and win the next general election. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a solid team. We have a team of people who were employed before we got into politics. All these guys trying to run for UWP are unemployed. Whether they're lawyer, the doctor, the fisherman, the batsman, whatever they be, ladies and gentlemen, they all are out there unemployed, ladies and gentlemen. And so they're looking for a job. But more interestingly, they were all promised money by Lennox Linton and Edison James. In fact, the young star who wants to run against me, they promised him $340,000 to run for them against me in Capuchin. Now, if you want to serve people, you cannot cut a price for serving people. Service does not have a price. So you come in there, you get in the race, you run your campaign. If you win, thank you very much. If you lose, thank you very much. The people don't want you. But once you get paid to run, you cannot be a good parrot. You cannot be a good minister because it didn't come from your heart. It came from your mouth, ladies and gentlemen. So trouble in the camp now. Sikire won this morning. Ronald Charles won this morning. Steve Joseph won this morning. Higgs Adam won this morning. All of them want the money. And in fact, some of them are already beginning to backtrack and to backpedal. You used to hear them more before. You're not hearing them much again because the money don't reach yet. The only money that reach, Lennox keep it for himself and Edison James. Some money come, some money come. But Lennox don't share that. Lennox say, boy, I not try for an election. We can separate ça. We can change ça pour come. And if more come, or we'll get some more. But the persons who are financing them not convinced that they can win the election, so the money not coming as they expected. And that is why they keep telling Scarlett when to call election. Call it in May. Call it in October. Call it in November. Keep jab, keep enough, 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 Scarlett will call this election when Scarlett ready. So if Lennox Linton want to go outside there, and get himself tired. That is his problem. He can go and run the race if he want. Or let him call his election and contest by himself. But we, the Labour Party, will call our election when we're ready to call the election. And I want Sky to hold it back still. Because there is more on Lennox Linton that will come out in the future. Because Tony Asafan told you that he's working on a bigger story about Lennox Linton. But we want to hear the story. Because this campaign is not for this election, but it's also for the next election and the next election. We have to ensure that the United Workers Party does not surface as a party in any other election that is called in this country. So, ladies and gentlemen, but if you don't do your work, you will not achieve that milestone. 
We have to go out there and win souls. We can't sleep. The election is ours to win, but we have to win it big. We have to show them that we can move from 18 to 21. And Scary tell you on 21. And you know, if Scary tell you something, you have to believe what Scary tell you. And so we're going after all 21 just to teach them. And we will appoint the opposition. We will appoint them in opposition. But we need to show them that Labour Party has been around for too long. Labour Party has done too much for this country. And this Labour Party from 2000 has really made miracles in this country to take us to where we are today. St. Lucia wants us. St. Kitts wants us. The whole Caribbean wants Carrot. So let us know if you want Carrot or you don't want him. And if you don't want him, we'll send him to St. Lucia. We'll send him to St. Kitts. We'll send him to Antigua because they need him down there at a very, very, very urgently. So Labour Party people, the campaign has just started. The campaign will continue. I have my music in the studio producing. So music you want, music you will get some. I have some to sing, ladies and gentlemen. So let not your heart be troubled. This is going to be one of the sweetest campaigns that labor rights have ever witnessed. And the victory is even going to be sweeter. So keep the faith, hold the fort, work hard, pray for your government, and we will be back in the next term to continue development that we started since 2000. Change came in 2000, and the change continues to 2014, 2015. May God bless you. May God bless your families. May God bless Dominica. Thank you very much and good night. <laughs>